All right, everybody, so um, I want to talk to you today about uh, fixing some cast iron here. Um, we had a little accident here a few weeks ago, um, taking apart a pump here, and this stuff happens. Um, the, we didn't understand how the pump came apart, and uh, one of my guys was taking it apart and put a little too much pressure, and it broke the casting. So I've been looking around, trying to find a water pump for this, for this engine. And um, uh, it's, it's a Hercules engine, but we can't find it. So we we're actually going through and, and fixing this. We're getting all the parts, the bearings, everything ourselves, and trying to make this right. And uh, we've, we're, we're on a good track here. And so I want to show you guys what happens if you could fix something rather than if you, know, you can't find it, uh, you got to fix it. So um, as you can see, I've been brazing around here, and it's coming out really nice. And I'm going to be brazing this section right here. I want to show you. We got, I grooved it out ahead of time and I put on the uh, flux you have to use brazing flux and we've got our brazing rod here which I'm gonna it's a film it's filler material which attaches the two pieces of cast iron together and um, we're gonna go braze this thing up I'm gonna show you this section right here so let's let's do it a little too quick There you go. Braised up real nice. And you know, um, like I said, you know, mistakes happen, stuff breaks, it's, you know, nobody's perfect. It's, uh, you know, this is something that you have to do sometimes to fix something. And, uh, you know, we do things like this here at the shop. We braise, we, we grind, weld, all that stuff to make these old fire, these old fire trucks uh, run. So, um, you know, we got a, a setup here with the, uh, threaded rod to hold this thing together to make sure it stayed square and and and, and correct and as we go around we're going to continue to uh, check it and uh, and there's a couple pieces on the other side here I'll flip this thing over you see there's a hole here that uh, we had form that cracked a couple pieces cracked off we're gonna we're gonna fill those pieces in we have this we saved the original ones here so we're gonna fit those in there and braze that up and uh, it's gonna work pretty good, I think. So, but anyway, that's fixing casting brazing. Okay, um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about a thing on some of these trucks. I've seen in the forums people asking what this is for. Um, it's called a upper cylinder lubricator for some of these older trucks. You find it in the 1940s and 50s. Um, it's a device on the engine that's supposed to suck oil out of a container on the firewall and go into the intake and provide some upper cylinder lubrication. All I think it does is foul out spark plugs and use oil for nothing. Um, it was used for a time period and they stopped using it for a reason. So let's check it out here. I'll show you the upper cylinder lubricator. If you have your, your early fire engine or um, truck, maybe commercial truck, they might have this too. There's a can like this and there's a line coming out and it looks like this and this plate is this thin plate is mounted uh, in between the carburetor and the intake manifold and you'll see right there there's a hole where this tube is you can see right there there's a small hole and this tube goes up to this and you fill this up with you know I've put Marvel Mystery Oil in it before, which is, you know, really good for upper cylinder lubrication, but I would just recommend closing these off, not using this thing, because I just think it fouls spark plugs. We have one at the Fire Truck Museum here uh, in East Windsor, uh, Connecticut, uh, we volunteer, and um, it, uh, it worked, and we used it for a while, and when it ran out of uh, oil, um, some of the spark plugs were a little, uh, they weren't fouled, we had it on a very small amount, but uh, it's just not necessary. So we're gonna keep this on here though, and we're gonna solder up, solder up that little hole, and uh, nobody will know the difference. It'll look good, and it'll just be there for show. So I wanted to go over that. 
Um, and while we're here, um, this is the 51 Maxim for um, a private owner in Massachusetts, and uh, we've got the motor all painted up here. Uh, we did not rebuild the motor. Um, we had the heads off because the head gaskets were no good, leaking oil out the side, and um, pretty, pretty, pretty uh, heavily actually. And uh, we decided, you know, if the heads are off, it's silly not to do a valve job. So we went and did a valve job on this thing. Um, it came out really nice. Uh, we ground the valves, we ground the valve seats, and uh, checked everything out. We actually had to replace the number six cylinder uh, exhaust valve over here. It was actually mechanically failed. The valve spring retainer broke in half and fell out into the the valve box, uh, the adjustment box, and then the retainer, the uh, keeper, valve keeper, uh, valve key, um, actually fell down into the oil pan. And thank God there was a, there's an oil screen on the oil pump because that little key could have gotten sucked up somewhere and caused the problem. So um, we found all those pieces. Um, they're in good shape. We're going to save them for future use on a used engine, whatever. But uh, we bought brand new um, from um, a, a supplier in Ohio, um, Hercano, that supplies um, uh, Hercules parts and has for years. So he had the valve, the, the, the valve spring retainer, the, the valve keys, everything. And uh, everything's adjusted and done. Um, we've got the generator all done here. Um, we went and painted the um, engine cooler here. Um, just gone through everything. Uh, starter motor down here. Starter motor's all completely rebuilt and everything's gonna work great. Uh, we had the radiator repaired. Um, luckily for budgetary reasons, we didn't uh, have to have that record. It was in really good condition and it needed a few repairs up on the top tank and that was it. So radiator shop gave it a good bill of health and it's good for a long time. So that's, uh, that's where we're at on the engine in this thing. We've also, the customer said uh, he didn't have any spotlights, so we've got, we've got spotlights on here now. We bought these used on, um, I got them on eBay, and uh, they, uh, they're just there for looks. They don't really work or anything. We didn't go crazy trying to make them work. Or, it's just, uh, just for looks, and they were there from the factory. Um, and we're just starting the wiring. Um, Jim is going to be starting the wiring here. He has started it already. Uh, you can see he's got some leads coming in here. It's looking great already. And uh, got to love these dashboards. All the hot rod guys want these. The early Ford guys want these Stuart Warner dashes. This is this would be awesome in a hot rod, but uh, it's not going anywhere. It's staying right here. So if you're a hot rod guy, go find an antique fire truck from the 50s, uh, early mid 50s, and you can have one of these dashboards for cheap. Okay, we've got an update here. I just finished brazing up this casting. Still need some more work. We have to uh, we have to um, go around and grind off some of this stuff, but it came out really nice. Everything's square. I think we're gonna be just fine to put this back together. It's gonna work great. And I'm just test fitting the distributor here. Make sure that this fits in here because we had some of this casting break away. And it looks like It looks like we fit just fine. Goes right in and lines up. So that's really good news. Now we have to see if this whole thing goes together once these parts come in. So stay tuned. Okay, this is the Maxim water pump housing here. And this thing came out really nice. Braised it up and ground it down here. And we're just gonna be waiting on some parts coming in on this and putting this guy together. Did a couple repairs in the shaft, and we've got a, we actually have a new old stock Hercules gear coming in for this. I couldn't believe the guy had it, uh, brand new. And we've got a couple of new seals right here. These are carbon, spring-loaded carbon seals. This is how your water pump seal works on the later water pumps. This is really nice technology here. Um, this is advanced compared to packing, so you don't have to bother with the packing nut. It's really nice. So we've got, we've got these coming. And uh, this is going to go right back together. And I'm also going to show you uh, the transmission here. This is for Newington Fire Department. Okay, so we're over here with Newington Fire Department's project here. This is a 1929 Buffalo fire engine. And we just got done rebuilding this 
squirrel cage clutch here, brand new metal facings, brand new gear tooth facings. This thing is all clean, ready to rock and roll. The throw out bearings are usually never bad on these things, they're in great shape. So this one, this one's really nice, doesn't make any noise. We'll grease it up, it'll work forever. And we've got the transmission going back together here. This is looking really nice. Really happy with this. We actually soda blasted all this stuff this time. Uh, soda blasting, they use baking soda. Uh, some places that do media blasting have that, and the place we go to does. It came out really nice. It didn't etch the surface of the metal. It just kind of had like that natural casting from the factory look left on it, and I really like that. So we're going to continue to do that. It worked out well. Inside and out, it didn't, didn't get any sand stuck anywhere. It was really nice, and we've got the shafts all together here with the gears, and we've got the rear seal mechanism here. This is a, if you see this on your truck, um, it looks more complicated than it is, but uh, this inner wheel here um, tightens up and compresses the um, felt seal in here and, and keeps the uh, rear shaft from leaking. And then this is just your locking nut. You tighten this up and then you bend over the tabs on this little uh, sheet metal piece here. So that's, that's all that is. Um, we've got the speedometer drive together, everything's safety wired here. Um, we, we go back and do it just like the factory. We, everything's safety wired. And uh, this thing's getting ready to go. So um, just wanted to give you an update on that.